guys, welcome to Islanders. As mentioned in a previous week, I am trying to cover a new game every week, uh, or ideally two, if everything goes according to schedule. Uh, and as I'm learning Imperator Rome right now, I thought it would be fun to just try something that was a chill-out game, very simple. Um, this one's a $5 game on Steam, um, but it's sort of like a filler game, but it's really, really relaxing for what it's worth. And I found it pretty addicting for a few hours. Uh, that I did try, but I think the easiest way to go in is just go in and try it out. Um, um we'll continue the old game. It, the, the, it was going pretty well where I left it. So, um, you have your score on the bottom left, you have the add button for more buildings or other structures or anything of that nature in the bottom middle, and then on the bottom right you have your progress toward the next island. The whole goal of the game is pretty simple, and that's just to uh, score enough points by placing buildings in ideal positions and then keep on moving up to unlock further islands and get a better score. Um, pretty simple game, but it's it's very satisfying to watch it all occur. Um, so we started off on this island. Every island is procedurally generated and there are a bunch in the game. Um, as far as I know, base score 13 gets a bonus for each nearby sawmill, statue, water plateau, and tree. So each building has modifiers that determine whether it is, um, you know, like whether it does. See, I'm getting a raising or a lowering score as I go around among these trees. And I want to place buildings in the best score. But I'm not going to, you could stress about this. Um, but I think that would kind of defeat the purpose of the game. So it's kind of like a relaxing game. Um, so I'm not going to stress about it at all, uh, and probably just place things in ways that please me. But I do have a few social commentaries, uh, if you're staying for the whole video. Because it, in a game this relaxing, I can't help but think of more grandiose, uh, plots going on. So, okay, we're at 1491 out of 1500, and the, our island is starting to fill up for the next part. Um, so now we have a choice, we can choose between getting a lumberjack or a mason. I'm gonna get a lumberjack because it looks like there's a lot of wood on this island. And you get dealt like a hand of different cards. Now, I'm gonna put this lumberjack here, but I'm gonna to wanna to get ready because I'm gonna to have to place three of these bad boys. And I don't wanna put them too close nearby each other. I still wanna have space for them to have room. Because if lumberjacks get too close together, then they start to get into each other's territory. And that's never good. Um, never good at all. So I want to save that for later because a lot of other buildings do really well with a statue nearby. And I think I'll place this lumberjack here. Now I'm going to need a sawmill, and a sawmill likes being near lumberjacks, but it doesn't like being near other sawmills. Um, so I'm going to put this one here and this one here. And you know, like there's this feng shui element to it. It's uh. Feng, is it feng shui or feng shui? It's spelled as feng shui, but you get the point. You're like, you need to do things right. Uh, I have not encountered these docks yet. I am going to encounter some new buildings. Okay, the city I really liked. I find this one particularly satisfying to use. Now, my favorite part about this game, perhaps, is that I can scratch my head with one hand and use the mouse with the other. So I'm going to place my city center there next to the statue. And then we're probably going to build out a water plateau because we are going to... We're gonna need more stuff. Uh, I'm gonna build this out so that I have more room for city stuff over here. That's kind of sticking to that, so that's okay. We're gonna want our mansions here because they don't like being near the poor people. Um, right about there. And then the houses, they like being near the rich people, but the rich people don't like being near them or something like that. Um, but you do start to run low on space, and I, I don't know if they get more difficult as the game goes on, but I've noticed that my islands seem to be getting more and more out of hand. Um, like, this is this is several islands, not just one. I'd prefer one large island. Um, brewing pack. Now, this is fairly straightforward. Okay, but I got a lot of things that I didn't really want. I didn't want those mansions. I have no use for these mansions. Um, nor can I put them anywhere in very close to my city hall. And come to think of it, I should have done more pre-planning before this. But as far as I can tell, I think that games pretty much just go on forever and ever. Okay, we'll put more housing here. And then this is gonna be a hop field, so I guess like hops flowers or hops plants or whatever they call them. And that's gonna get us drunk. So we'll put this here, but I also want to plan ahead too because I know that these flowers are going to be good 
if I get shaman later. So a lot of it is about like figuring out what the territory is, but you know, I mean, like, you could, like I said before, it's one of those games that you could stress over, like, am I doing everything right? But I, I don't see the, what would be the point of that at all. Alright, this Mason has been begging to enter our lives for a long time, so I think I'm just gonna take him. He gets a bonus for brickyards, warehouses, market city centers, plateaus, temples, and walls nearby. We don't have any of that. Um, nor are we going to be getting any of that for a while, so we could just put this Mason... Uh, well, you know what? We'll take advantage of the city center bonus. We'll put him over here, living on this cliffside. I like to imagine that there's a little story about everybody in my village. Like, he's been living there with his whole family getting raised for a hundred years. But, uh, I don't know. Like, it just, it begs these kinds of questions, because there's, there's not really much else besides the building. Uh, and I, I don't know. It... It brings me back to playing with Legos as a kid. Honestly, just a very, very relaxing game to play. Anyway, I don't have much more to say about this game than that. Um, so I don't want to keep the video going, but I want to show you what it starts to look like as things go on. So I'm going to time lapse a bit, just so that you can see how my score starts to go up on this island. Alright, and I got game over. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, because I think my island came out beautiful. Uh, but I, I honestly think that the game is more about just relaxing and building than anything else. But yeah, you could get pretty competitive about this. I think I'm gonna do one more, because you did click on this video, and I honestly think that better than me commentating on it would be just you watching a time lapse of it, because I find this game really satisfying, and I think that's probably the best way to do it justice. Um, it's, I, I find that the experience of it is mainly just me kind of acting like an infant and just kind of, like, it feels so trippy. So, let's do one where we actually try to get a lot of points this time. I think that's about all that I'm gonna do of Islanders. I've enjoyed it for what it was. Um, it's a very, very light game. Um, but if you're looking for something like that, and maybe if you find it on sale on, eh, on, sale on Steam, um, or you're just in the mood for something like that between, I don't know, larger AAA games or whatever heavy strategy games you're playing, then be my guest. Uh, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. All right. Thanks, uh, and let me know if you guys have any other suggestions for games that you'd like to see, and possibly I'll be able to get my hands on some of them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.